Hi guys, Zoe from LazyGamer.net, and I'm here with Nick Holt, Chairman of Make Games SA. Um, so, the thing that I always like, the way you introduce yourself, is that you don't make games, you make associations. So, can you tell me a little bit about that process and what you've been up to? Uh, okay, so yes, I'm Chairperson for Make Games South Africa with the Industry Association for Game Developers in South Africa. Um, yeah, so I try to galvanize the community and give them a common cause to do stuff. Um, I bribe them with government grants and changes in legislation for them to believe in us. Um, and we've had a fair amount of success, so it's just pretty cool. Awesome. Speaking of you know bribing with grants and with um, legislation and all that, what are some of the big changes that have happened over the last couple of years? You know, we're seeing a real growth and almost like you know emerging market in terms of local games. And you know, what do you think is the cause of that, or where is that all coming from? Um, Okay, Ooh, loaded question, so much. Okay, so let's talk about success, the stuff that we have actually managed to do. Uh, we have um, sub we submitted comments to the National Draft Intellectual Property thing, which the government has taken in some of our considerations, so hopefully we'll see games as part of the government's national agenda as an industry that they're willing to support. Um, I'm currently in talks with the Department of Trade and Industry, getting particular grants and... Um, support programs specifically for games to be written up. I'm hoping to have the Copyright Act amended to recognize games as a legitimate form of something that can actually be copyrighted in this country. Currently we have to sit under film. Um, we managed to get the draft regulations for the Films and Publications Board amended so now when we submit games to be rated by the FPB we don't have to submit gameplay footage on VHS. This was an actual requirement, we no longer have to do it so I consider this a big victory. Uh, <laughs> Um, and then sort of what we're hoping for in the next six to eight months is we're hoping to start up an incubator, possibly two, one in Joburg, one in Cape Town. Uh, the Joburg one, we've got the an association with some people that are from WITS and the uh, Johannesburg Software and Computer Engineering uh, Society, I think they're called. They've managed to get the government to pledge 23 million rand uh, to start a incubation project, but we are looking for we need to match that funding. So we need 23 million rand. So if you have 23 million rand and you want to help us make some games, give me a call. Uh, <laughs> and then from a Cape Town perspective, we are talking with some fairly ma major corporates. I can't mention their names yet, but they've also been given a lot of money to spend by the government to try to develop games. So we're hoping in the next couple of months to have something up. Um, we've got a trade mission to GDC happening this year. Well, next year we've putting in our application forms. Last year we were successful, except the government ran out of money so they couldn't send us. Uh, so we're doing it earlier this year, hopefully then that we will actually get the money. Um, so that's, yeah, that's that's sort of what we've been doing. Um, we might need to, from a, a legal perspective, make games might be changing its form. We're currently an association of peoples. We might need to change to a non-profit company. It's fairly minor, but it's a thing that's probably gonna happen, but that's internal. Uh, yeah, that's about it really, that, that's, that's what I'm doing. That's quite a lot. That that's it. Yes. No. That's <laughs> is that all? Uh, yeah. Uh, no. Okay. So we're also <laughs> um, we're hoping to get into talks with Google and Apple to try and make it easier for guys to get onto the relevant app stores. Um, we're in talks with Humble to hopefully have a Humble bundle for South African games, but that's very much still testing the water. Um, but yeah. So those are other things that we're doing. Awesome. And, you know, what did, what can people do locally to get involved? I mean, I always try and tell people, just play the local games. Um, and if you want to make them, come make games with us. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, there's a couple of things. So, like, um, if you want, if you're not interested in making games, but you want to support the industry, please play South African games. Um, all of them are available online. Uh, nearly everything is on Steam. All our mobile games are available on... Um, uh, on the iStore and the iOS, they're all there. Uh, with the new Steam curation, Make Games SA has a, st a curated list, so if you want to see what South African games are, you can go and buy them from our storefront. We've got them there. Um, if you're interested in development, then start making games. Um, download Unity, download Game Maker, download Twine, whatever. There's a million and one free engines out there. Do some tutorials and start making games. You need to sort of get out your hundred bad games before you make your first good one, so start doing that process now. Get onto our, our community forums, www.makegamesessay.com, get onto our Facebook group, um, get onto Twitter, Make Games SA, come to our community nights. We have them every month in Cape Town and 
uh, in Joburg and we have them quarterly in Durban because there's not enough guys in Durban and they all live over, some guys are in Maritzburg and other guys are up north and up south and trying to get them to all come together monthly is proving to be an issue. But if there's more of you, then we can do it. We're hopefully, we may be starting up a, a chapter in sort of some sit where Stellenbosch, which is also pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so get involved, come and meet the people, uh, come liaise, come to Rage, come to our stand, come meet the developers. Cool, games. cool. I, mean, I often say that you don't necessarily have to know what you're doing to make a game. No, 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 like no. a lot of the guys are artists or writers or whatever. You know, do you see a lot of collaboration as well between local devs? Oh, totally. Um, so we've had some really fantastic stories that are like that. So, um, for example, we've got a guy called Stephen Two, uh, Two Plus Games. He's got two games on show here: Beat Attack and um, Dead Run. Dead Run. Yes, he's not showing. Uh, bear chuck. Okay. Anyway, um, so he's an artist. He's an artist by trade, and he's self-taught himself how to um, uh, how to make games. And he's been getting a lot of support from the coders. Um, there's guys called Clockwork Acorn from Stellenbosch. They've got a couple of games: uh, Monsters of Medicine, uh, Neon Highway, and uh, Unseen Agent. And what they did is that they said, guys, we really suck at sound and music. So sound engineer guys, who we've got about 15 of them on the forum. We're going to have a competition. Come make sound for our game. And they did. Um, we've got other things where, for example, Montez, which is one of the projects on show there that was made by a student. And, you know, he just pitched it up as like, this is the game that I'd like to make. Um, and artists and coders kind of like, we can make this happen. And now you, if you come see it, compared to when it started, it was just like triangles and little, little blocks. And now it's gloriously painted awesomeness. Uh, there's another game called Vietnam 69. I can't tell you that much about it, unfortunately, because they're about to have something really big happen. The press will find out soon. Uh, but I mean, that guy, he came to make games. He'd been working on this prototype for 12 years. He'd made it in, um, in Visual Basic. He came to the community night and said, this is the game that I've been making. You know, I'd like some input. And probably one of South Africa's best game artists and pro pro probably our best coder joined him and sort of at night in their free time they helped him and now his game is like I said big things are happening to him which is really awesome so like I said but it requires you to we get a lot of people who have really good ideas that's not enough your idea is meaningless show that you've got some commitment and passion even if it means making a game in, in visual basic that you know make a board game that doesn't matter that's enough if you've got that passion that inspired that's what we need to see awesome thank you so much for your time I really appreciate it Pleasure, thank you for being here. Oh, having me again.